the continent chapter is sexual reproduction of angiospermic plants or true flowering plants during sexual reproduction the flowering plants or angiosperms produce flower flower is a modified shoot the male reproductive hole of a flower is known as androecium the male reproductive hole is known as androecium the individual member of androecium is a stamen it is a stamen it is a stamen and all the stamens of a flower are collectively called androecium um, further each stamen has two parts the stalk of stamen is called filament and the upper fertile part of stamen is known as anther anther has usually anther has two loops each loop contains two microsporangia each microsporangium contains so many microspores or pollen grains similarly the female reproductive hole of a flower is known as gynoecium let us discuss the gynoecium of a flower. It is the female reproductive hole or gynoecium whose individual member is called carpel. Then structurally a gynoecium has three different parts. The upper part is known as stigma, the middle part is called style and basal swollen part is known as ovary. The mature ovary is otherwise known as fruit. Inside the ovary, one or more integumented megasporangia are found such integumented megasporangia are otherwise known as ovules and each ovule after fertilization bs embryo such ovule is known as seed after fertilization the ovule bs embryo and such ovule is known as seed and the mature ovary is known as fruit let us discuss the structure of gynoecium It is the stalk of a flower called pedicel. The upper swollen part of pedicel is known as thalamus. And it is the gynoecium or female reproductive hole. Gyne the upper part of gynoecium is known as stigma. Stigma receives the microspore or pollen grains. Then the middle part of gynoecium is known as style. Basal swollen part is known as ovary. The mature ovary is known as fruit. Inside the ovary, there are one or more chambers are present. Each chamber is known as loculus. The chamber of ovary is known as loculus. And uh, inside the inside each loculus of, of ovary are found one or more special integumented megasporangium. Such integumented megasporangium is known as ovule. Ovule attaches to ovary wall by means of a tissue. So the tissue of ovary wall to which ovule attaches is known as placenta. And the stalk of ovule is known as funicle or funiculus. Ovule by means of its funicular stalk attaches to ovary wall by means of a swollen tissue. So, swollen tissue of ovary to which ovule attaches is known as placenta. It is the structure of a typical gynoecium of flower. Gynoecium has three different parts stigma, style, and ovary. Inside ovary, one or more ovules are present. Let us discuss the ovule of angiosperm. Inside the ovary of gynoecium, inside the ovary of gynoecium of angiospermic plant, ovules are found. Actually, ovule is nothing but an integumented megasporangium. Ovule is an integumented megasporangium. Ovule is an integumented megasporangium. Structurally, a typical primitive type of ovule has following parts. It is a, it is a, a primitive type of ovule. The 
स्टॉक ऑफ ओव्यूल इज नोन एज फ्यूनिकुलस और फ्यूनिकल देन द सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ ओव्यूल इज नोन एज न्यूसेलस न्यूसेलस द कवरिंग ऑफ ओव्यूल इज नोन एज इंटेगुमेंट द बेसल पोर्शन ऑफ ओव्यूल इन व्हिच न्यूसेलस एंड इंटेगुमेंट्स आर फ्यूज्ड इज नोन एज प्लस इज नोन एज चार ला चार फ्यूनिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिकुलिक
is is known as anatropous ovule. It is most advanced type of ovule. Majority of angiosperms possess this type of ovule. It is most advanced type of ovule. Then the ovule whose body and funicle lie in perpendicular. The ovule whose body and funicle lie in perpendicular condition. Then it is called hemi anatropous ovule, hemi tropous ovule. Then the ovule whose funicle present in coiled condition around the body of ovule. The ovule whose funicle present in coiled condition around the body of ovule is called is known as sarsino tropous ovule. And the ovule whose body is curved to some extent is known as campylo tropous ovule. Campylo tropous ovule. And the ovule whose body as well as whose megaspore or embryo sac. The ovule whose body as well as its embryo sac are uh, in curved condition is called amphitropous ovule. The ovule whose body as well as its embryo sac both are in curved condition is called amphitropous ovule. Only body is called is the campylotropous ovule. Whose body covered by funicle, fun when funicle present around the body of ovule, then it is called sarsinotropous. When body and funicle lie in perpendicular condition, it is called hemi anatropous ovule. And the ovule whose microbial and funicle present close to each other is called anatropous ovule. And the ovule whose microbial, chalaga and funicle lie in, lie in straight line, then it is called orthotropous ovule. It is most uh, primitive type of ovule. It is most advanced type of ovule. It is types of ovule. Then let us discuss megasporogenesis.